Hello friends, today I want to introduce you to the biggest mega project that China has started in Afghanistan. Stay with me until the end of this video. As you are aware, the construction of the ANAC Copper Project Road in Logar Province started with the presence of senior officials of the Afghan government and Chinese officials. Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, Afghanistan's Vice President of Economic Affairs, in a ceremony on this occasion, considered the INAC Copper Project as one of the most vital projects and said that the start of the practical work of this project has been delayed for a long time and now it is necessary to start its work. Mullah Baradar assured the officials of the contracted company of the project that there are enough materials inside Afghanistan to eliminate the toxic materials during the process and that this problem has been completely solved and there is no obstacle to starting the practical work of the project. He added that he had ordered the central bank to cooperate with the contracted company to transfer the project money. He also assured the contracting company of the complete security of the project. After a 15-year delay, ANAC copper mining will begin by the end of this week. This is the opening ceremony of the ANAC copper project in Logar province of Afghanistan, which was held with the presence of senior officials of Afghanistan and China. Here, several senior Afghan officials are seen, including Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, the Deputy Minister of Economy, and Chinese representatives. Also, Several heavy machinery made by reputable companies such as Hitachi are performing preliminary operations for the opening of the road construction. This ceremony marks the beginning of cooperation between the two countries in the field of mining and related infrastructure development. The large presence of people and officials in this ceremony shows the high importance of this project for the economy and development of Afghanistan. This is related to the ANAC copper mine area in Logar province of Afghanistan, which was developed by the Chinese company MCC, Metallurgical Corporation of China. This complex includes buildings and facilities needed for copper mining and processing. The Chinese company has said that the ANAC copper mine will do 100% of its processing work inside Afghanistan. With the start of the practical work of the ANAC copper mine, employment will be created for 3,000 citizens directly and for another 10,000 citizens indirectly. ANAC Logar copper mine with an area of 800 square kilometers is located 30 kilometers southwest of Kabul, which is known as the second largest copper mine in the world with more than 240 million tons of copper. Afghanistan's mines are one of the biggest economic pillars of the country and from the point of view of economic experts, by extracting the standard and processing it inside the country, poverty will be eradicated and the unemployment rate will be reduced. The mine contains approximately 240 million tons of copper ore at a grade of 2.3%, making it one of the largest high-grade copper projects in the world. In 2008, the Afghan government signed a 30-year contract with the Chinese company MCC to extract copper from this mine. This contract included the development of mining-related infrastructure, such as the construction of railways and power plants. After signing the contract, due to security issues and the discovery of ancient artifacts in the place, the operational work of the mine was stopped. These problems caused the project to never reach the stage of practical extraction. In recent years, after the return of the Emirate government to power, new efforts have been made to resume the project. The Afghan government has announced that the mining of ANAC copper is one of their main priorities for creating employment and increasing the country's income. ANAC copper mine is economically and historically very important. This area contains several Buddhist monasteries and ancient monuments dating back to different historical periods. The main challenge in the exploitation of the mine was moving the ancient works and preserving them. The Afghan government and the Chinese company MCC were looking for a solution to preserve these works so that they could start the extraction work, which has now moved these works to another place. Chinese and Afghan officials are negotiating to amend the terms of the initial agreement. MCC wants to cut taxes and cut the operating rate from 19.5% to almost half. In addition to security challenges, there are also logistical problems that need to be addressed. Building railways and other infrastructure requires huge investments, which Chinese companies are obliged to undertake. INAC copper mining can have a great impact on Afghanistan's economy. 
This project can be a stable source of income for the country and help reduce poverty and increase employment. Chinese companies have the full support of the Afghan government. This allows them to continue their work without international competition and with government support. INAC copper mining is a complex and extensive project that requires a large number of heavy and specialized machinery. Generally, to extract copper from such a mine, machinery such as bulldozers, excavators, heavy haul trucks, drilling machines, and mineral processing equipment is required. Each of these machines plays a vital role in the process of mining and processing copper ore. Mechanical excavators are one of the main machines needed in the ANAC copper mine. These machines are used to dig and load ore from the mine to transport trucks. Excavators with high power and high loading capacity allow workers to extract ore efficiently and quickly. Heavy transport trucks also play an important role in mining operations. These trucks are used to transport minerals from the mining site to the processing site or warehouse. Due to the high volume of extracted stones, these trucks must have a high carrying capacity and enough power to move in the rough terrain of the mine. Drilling machines are used to dig wells and create tunnels needed to access deeper layers of ore. These machines, with their advanced technology, can perform the drilling process with high precision and appropriate speed. Drilling machines can perform drilling operations horizontally and vertically. In addition to the main machinery, mineral processing equipment is also required to separate the copper from the ores. This equipment includes crushers, mills, and separation and flotation devices that separate copper from ores and prepare it for further processing. For the successful implementation of the ANAC copper mining project, a whole fleet of heavy and specialized machinery is needed. These machines not only facilitate the extraction process, but also increase productivity and reduce operating costs. The use of modern technologies in these machines can help improve safety and efficiency in mining operations. Thank you for watching.